Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm Anand Abib and today I'm gonna show you a quick walkthrough and tutorial on Analog Counter. So this is our new tool and actually it's very simple to use and it's a new successor or a companion to our counter preset, which you can check on on our site. Analog Counter is a preset which helps you create analog counter animation. Well, makes sense. So let's show you how to begin with it. So first of all, after you install it, you search for analog counter and then you can double click it or just drag it to the comp. And I'm gonna change its character to Bebus. I like Bebus. I'm gonna scale it up just a bit. And I turned off the mask visibility, but you can keep it on if you want, uh, because this mask is actually what masks out all of the other numbers. So. First of all, I want to make some number animation. So I'm gonna create a keyframe on the number, then I'm gonna go forward, and then I'm gonna change the number, and that's it. You have analog counter animation. You can change the keyframe as you're used to, and that's it, but it had a lot of features. So first of all, we can change the animation from, let's go, let's take some interesting numbers, let's say, 2018 and on this keyframe it's gonna be 2030 so we have this animation and I have three engines to drive the animation so the first one default is mechanic and the mechanic create a mechanic animation that drives a number but you can take the accurate and in the accurate you will just get a smooth animation from number to number but then you can edit the behavior and we'll see that later well you have the digit number you can take six until ten numbers so you can see them always if you want the digit to change automatically so you can see only the one that you need you can turn on auto digits and then if you have bigger or smaller numbers the columns of number will appear and reappear automatically but I'm gonna leave it at this next up is the decimal options and I can make two decimal numbers one and two and if I want decimal comma I can check this box on and the dividers I can create dividers as the old counter and that's just amazing you should remember that the rightmost number will change the fastest so using decimal options is mostly for really small numbers or small animations between numbers great What's next? The mechanical options will change the mechanical behavior and you actually have only one thing that you can change and that's the jump ease. If you look at the animation, you see that there is a bit of a jump that is eased out, but you can cancel it and then you will have like a behavior of a true analog thing if you want it. So that's pretty cool. And you have the accurate options which correlate with the accurate engine. So I'm gonna go to the accurate options and for now, it only looks like a smooth animation, but you can actually check on the shortcut and now each number will take the shortest route, almost the shortest route to the next number. And if you want all the number to scramble, you can add minimum rounds and all other rows will have some minimum rounds in the animation between the keyframes. So maybe I have two or maybe I have 10. Well, that looks pretty awesome. And I'm gonna go back to the mechanical. So now I'm back to the mechanical animation and I can go to the spacing and I have general spacing. And we have this feature because you cannot do it from here. All the numbers are based on text layers, which means that you can change the text as much as you like, but not its properties. So if you'll change something like the size or the, the size of the font or mostly anything else, it can mess up the animation. So these controls are exactly for changing the general spacing. And if you have some dividers or you have some decimal comma or decimal point, you can change their spacing. Well, that's cool. And since motion blur is really heavy on this layer there is a small engine that creates motion blur 
regardless if you have motion blur on the layer. And I recommend not putting the After Effects motion blur, but using this one. So you can change the motion blur as you wish. You can change it to zero, so you'll have no motion blur at all. And you can change it up to 720, and you have like a really smooth motion blur. Well, that's great, but there is also one feature I didn't show you, and that's the analog engine. And this one will make everything look like an old cassette. It's not accurate, so mostly you will not use it for accurate numbers. And it has a really quirky result. But if you want to show something from the 70s or the 60s or the 80s, that's exactly the engine that you want to choose. And I want to talk about counter preset, not the analog, but the old one, which called counter preset. When we created counter preset, we were really happy with the result. And there was one thing that bothered us is that the counter preset is shaking when you don't have mono spaced font. And you can see the little wiggle over here. So not all fonts are mono spaced, but the great thing about analog counter is you can use it for any font it, and it will never shake, which means you can take down the motion blur and you can create regular counter animations without the jitterness, which is actually pretty amazing because it actually completes the counter functionality. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Well, if you found this tutorial useful, you can go to our site and watch more tutorials and take a look at more products that we have that will save you a lot of time on work. I'm Milan Tabib and I'm gonna see you next time.